Hi, I'm Dr. Burnham, and I wanted to introduce you to my patient, Mariella. Mariella came in uh, initially with severe vertigo, and uh, she's a nurse, and she is very familiar with a lot of doctors, and the, she just wasn't getting uh, results with that. So she was told by a patient of mine to come in and, and just kind of check things out, if you will. And Mariella, tell the people listening, uh, what were your first thoughts when uh, your friend mentioned that you should come to a chiropractor for vertigo? Well, when she actually told me, you should go see my chiropractor, he can help you, the first thing that I said was that. How can a chiropractor help me? And then I, I remember putting the, the number in my purse and I just put it away. But then I started getting more sick and sick and I, the last time that I ended up in the hospital, mm -hmm. I remember I told my son, you know, I had to call the doctor that Maria told me. And that's when I made the appointment and I decided to come. And I, since I've been coming to you, you're the only one actually that have been helping me. Good, good. And how many doctors did you see before? Oh my God, a bunch of them. And, and especially in ER, I remember the day that I got, um, admitted I was in the ER the whole day in the afternoon the doctor told me from the ER standpoint I don't know what else to do mm -hmm. he actually told me that and mm -hmm. I couldn't believe it mm -hmm. and so he admitted me he called another doctor and, and I was there all day giving me Valium, IV, all the things that they could do and mm -hmm. even they put a scol scopolamine mm -hmm. patch and I don't took midnight that's when I actually saw that my vertigo so and the other thing is that I can tell people I have vertigo, but it's something that I tell you I have vertigo, and then you to see you got to see me how sick I was. Yeah, no, yes. not everybody mm -hmm. sick. That's like true. That. We, you know, you, you went to the uh, emergency quite. A, how many times did you go to the hospital? I total at the emergency room. I ended up three times to the emergency room, and I got and see my regular doctor three times. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, and the only thing he told me, yeah, we give you uh, antibiotic, take the antibiotic. That's all they tell me. But I tell him that that's getting dizzy, exactly. so I can't work with that. And he said, well, he told me that he said, well, we as doctor, all we do is just give you this pill to masquerade the symptom. Mm -hmm. That's what he told me. Exactly. And then and they're I not said, getting to the cause of the problem. Yeah. And I remember, you know, she mentioned that I saw it firsthand. You know. The worst vertigo you can imagine, um, you know, there's definitely a nystagmus, which is a rapid eye movement sideways, mm -hmm. basically in a paralyzed situation where you can't get up, and, uh, you know, vomiting, and so after, you know, getting treated and, um, you know, getting adjustments, um, what started to happen? I <laughs> started getting better. Mm -hmm. Even at work, everybody tells me, you look good, you know, what are you doing? And I said, well, my chiropractor is helping me. Mm -hmm. and, um, and then I told me, told them all the things that you put me through, the detox and the thing that I can't eat. And, and I said, they make fun of me. I said, well, you, don't, you can't eat this and that. And I said, no. I said, well, I guess it's doing okay because you're not falling apart. I said, no, I'm not. Exactly. And even though I'm craving stuff, but <laughs> I've been doing good. So I'm and you're getting that. better each yes, and every week. Yes, every day. Every single time for the actually the the last this been what four weeks now mm -hmm. since yep. I started coming with you mm -hmm. and you put me on a detox plan and all that I've been fine I actually have been excellent that's great so with the I want you kind of just a, a brief sentence or whatever because I'm always doing this on the video what would you tell people that are looking at chiropractic and wondering oh should I go and they're sitting there you know they're they're stuck in a pill plateau or they're stuck facing surgery, um, what would you tell them? Well, I have been telling some of my co-workers about you because some of them have migraine and I have another co-worker that have problem with the gallbladder mm -hmm. and and I've give, been passing them your little you know business card and I've been telling them, you know, you need to go see my doctor because now you're my doctor. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, and I say, you know what, it's, he's a chiropractor but it's not just a chiropractor like everybody right. else said. He said, natural remedy doctor, and he can help you. He put you in all these plans to help you clean up your body and give you the right, um, I call them pills, but it's just like I told it. It's not medicine, medicine, like the doc, regular doctor mm -hmm. medicine. Mm -hmm. And he can help you. So I actually, whoever is out there yeah. suffering, yeah. please come because, you know, yeah. I'm sure, I know that you are dedicated and I pray for you. Every day. I appreciate that. And I ask the Lord to give you more wisdom mm -hmm. in your hand because you actually have been helping. I'm very grateful. That's right. I am very grateful for